Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at a packet listener system that uh, sort of reads and shows you how you can see what's reading and writing, and I'm also going to show you guys how you can uh, stop a packet from uh, being written. And once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub, so if you guys are having some troubles, go over there and check it out. So the first things first that we need to do is we need to actually go ahead and create our, our method that's going to allow us to read these packets. So we need to inject the player uh, as soon as I join the server. So let's just go ahead and just say inject player. And this is just going to be player player. And there we go. And we're missing a bracket there. We got one extra one there. All right, so now that we got that, what we can do is we need to get the channel duplex handler. And channel duplex handler equals new channel duplex handler. And this is what we're going to use to basically go ahead and get all the values that we need, or all the methods and the reading and writing that we need. So we're going to put brackets inside of here. We're going to open that up. Oops. Sorry, not there. Right here. So after the parentheses there. So what we need to do inside here is we're going to say at override, and this is going to be a public void read, and this is going to be channel, no, not channel exception, channel handler context, and this is going to be context, object, object. And just a reminder, guys, this isn't thread safe, so if you aren't really familiar with using uh, your packets and the netty, I would not suggest you know launching this onto a very big server with lots of players because you could run into a lot of errors and you could end up crashing your server now if you're doing this on a testing server that doesn't particularly matter it may make you a little bit angry but you, you don't you don't have to be as safe when you're just doing it on your testing server so uh, inside of here let's just go ahead and super this and this is just going to be channel read and this is going to be Channel handle, channel handler context, and this is just going to be object. All right, so now what we can do is let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and change that to channel read. My apologies, that has to be channel read. And what we want to do next, and that's that's for reading the packets. So now we can read all of the packets inside of here. So if we actually went ahead and said. Uh, Let's just do this. Uh, get. Oh, this is this is going to return that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and say bucket. Get server. Get console sender. Send message. And again, I do this just so I can easily uh, get these messages here. And this is just going to be packet. Or, sorry, it's, this should be named packet, so we easily know what that actually the object actually is. And then packet dot two string, and we'll go ahead and just add a chat color dots. Uh, let's do yellow here, and this is uh, going to be packet red. All right, so now we have that packet red, and let's just go ahead and change this to packet. Okay, so now what we can do is we can create the method that uh, shows us what's being written. So we can say at override, and this is just going to be public void write. Uh, basically the same thing. So this is just going to be channel handler context. Channel handler context. This is going to be object packet. And now we have something new, which is just going to be channel promise and channel promise. And again, just go ahead and throw those exceptions there. Uh, as I've stated before, you should be careful when you use exceptions. Uh, make sure you're using the right ones. As far as this tutorial purposes go, we're just going to do this because it's extremely quick and we shouldn't be getting any errors here. And if we do, I know what the error is going to be. But as far as everything else goes, you should look up the necessary packet or the necessary exceptions to throw when uh, you are using a try and catch or you're using a throws uh, statement there. But inside of here, so. 
we just need to go ahead and do the same thing again. So let's just go ahead and copy this. And we will change this to aqua. And let's change this to green. And let's just go ahead and super this as well. So super, super right. And this is going to be channel handler context. This is going to be packet. And then this is going to be channel promise. And now we need to do one last thing here, which is actually going to be getting the pipeline or basically the road that the server and the player are traveling down in order to, you know, access and get all this information. So we need to go ahead and get, uh, well, let's go ahead and say equals. Uh, this is kind of long here, um, but it makes pretty pretty good sense. Uh, so if you are familiar with how packets work, you would know that you have to ca cast the player to the craft player uh, by doing uh, this right here, which is uh, we got the craft player here over the player, and this is all inside one thing, which is going to return craft player, and then we're just going to go ahead and get handle, and then we need player connection. Then we need network manager, then we need channel, then we need pipeline. And now we can get the player's channel pipeline. Okay, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna go ahead and say pipeline dot add before, and this can be really whatever you want. So we're just gonna go ahead and say packet listener. And we're just going to have the player's name dot get name. Get 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 name and the channel duplex handler. So we need to do one more thing here is uh, we need to create a removal method. So when the player leaves the server, it removes them. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say channel, channel. And we're going to go ahead and cast player to craft player once again, because we need to get the vanilla version of the player. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get and do the player connection, network manager and channel. Now we got the channel and we can go ahead and say channel uh, event loop dot submit. If I can type and what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and put some ending on there and we're just going to say channel the pipeline that remove player dot get name and we're just going to go ahead and return null okay so now what we can do, you know, oh, we got an error somewhere. So where is this error? Oh, just go ahead and uh, delete. All right, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and say event handler, public void on join, player join event, event, and we can just go ahead and say inject player, event dot get player. And let's just go ahead and say event handler, public void on leave, player quit event event and we would just go ahead and say remove player and it's going to be event get player so let's go ahead and so my apologies so this actually has to be packet handler so change that to packet handler don't know what I was thinking there let's just go ahead and do reload there and let's just disconnect real quick and you can see there that we're getting all these packet read well we didn't change this one so this is packet right. So let's just go ahead and re-export this really quickly here so you can see the difference. And let's just reload and let's leave. So let's just go ahead and join. So you can see there the packet read and write. And obviously these are, uh, you know, Minecraft and the client and the player are really, they're sending so much information back and forth every time you do anything. And as you can see there, the more I start moving, you can see that tons and tons and tons of packets are being written, read and written. Oh, you see, oh, the lightning just struck our wool there. Um, but as you can see, so much is happening there. So let's just go ahead and do weather clear. But I'm going to show you guys how you can sort of <laughs> get rid of all of this here. Uh, so that way, it, you know, you don't have this giant, giant log. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, so we're just going to get rid of all those messages there. We're just going to get rid of those, you know, those console printouts. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how you can easily go ahead and prevent a packet from being sent. So if we go ahead and say if packet instance of 
And this can be any packet that has uh, packet playout, right? So packet playout. And we're going to use packet playout bed, right? Okay. And this is called whenever a player uh, tries to put itself in a bed. In a bed. So packet playout bed equals packet playout bed equals packet playout bed. And this is going to be instanced over the packet. Packet. And now all we have to do is just go ahead and save return. And we'll just grab this nice little message there. We'll pop this down here and we will just say packet blocked. And we can actually just change this to packet playout bed two string. So if we go ahead and re export this, reload, let's go ahead and leave. Let's read the server. And if we place this bed down now and we try to get in it, oh, well, let's go ahead and make it night. Time night. Time set night. And there we go. So if we could try to get in here, we can see packet blocked. And we have blocked the packet playout bed. So you can use this for a lot of things. Uh, it's more useful than just preventing players from accessing beds. But you could do something like this um, maybe for certain game modes. And like I said, this is for any packet playout. So anything that has a packet playout, uh, you could eat, you could prevent it from happening on the server. So this is a good way to you know start preventing players from doing certain things, performing certain actions uh, via packets if you didn't know or want to do it any other way for some reason. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video or learned something new, be sure to leave a comment down below and be sure to join our Discord. Link is in the description. And yeah, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching. I just want to get in the bed. Just, just let me in the bed.